So my grandchildren had come to visit and I was sent off on a mission to buy them a toy and I came across this. You stick that on your ankle and spin that round and jump over it and if you're five years old it's supposed to be lots of fun. Of course I'm not five so I have a different idea of fun. But it is a ball with twists in it and that's got to make you think, hasn't it? If I pull that separator off, this bit here, what I get is two hemispheres with twists in. So apart from spoiling the pleasure of my five-year-old grandchildren, what have I actually done here? Well, that reminds me very much of a VAWT. Now, we have this, which is a magnet on a stick. And we can use that for magnetic levitation. These are ring magnets out of a speaker and they're on a bit of bar on the original speaker holder. And I've got another magnet right here and you can see I've put a bearing in the middle. That bearing takes no weight. It just stops the magnet going this way or that way because... Ta-da! We get magnetic levitation when we do that, and that's really well known. You see people doing that with magnets on a stick all of the time, but here we have a magnet on a stick that is magnetically levitated from each other. Now then, if I glue that on there, we should be able to put a little bit of wind on there and get that to spin. So let's put some super glue on that and glue that on. Okay, that's it glued on. Let's put a bit of hair dryer on it, see if it'll spin. And, <laughs> of course it will. Now that is awesome, but what we've done apart from glue a child's toy to a magnet, well, let's stick a coil in there. I don't know how well you could see that LED, but we got about 2.2 volts out of it and we got the LED to light, which um, perhaps isn't earth shattering in itself, but there's a lot of things that's actually quite weird about this. For example, it's maglev. It's maglev because these are two like poles facing each other. So you've got north and north facing each other. Now, normally in a generator, of course, you want north, south, north, south to get the maximum flux. But using the maglev and only a rotating north field, we're able to generate, and that is weird. Now, of course, it's a child toy glued to a speaker magnet, so you're not going to like Manhattan with it. But it's a prototype a maglev VAWT generator. We know that the idea works now. We know that if we can use the north-north to levitate, we can also use that north field, as long as it's rotating, to generate. So we can put that together to make a maglev generator. Now, this is a child's toy on a desk, but equally we could make a large disc with neodymium magnets where the magnets are north-north and the coil in between them put our turbine structure on top of that, spin it, and we will have a maglev VAWT. Now this bearing, remember, is just to stop it drifting off, because in this arrangement with maglev, there's a chance, or there's a, uh, the magnets want to go that way, and so we restrain them with the centre pole, and the bearing actually is just restraining it rather than carrying any force. All the lift is in the maglev. Now, Normally you wouldn't think about maglev because it's all north pole and so you'd think there'd be no varying field but as long as we spin that field we can get generation and of course it's on maglev and you saw at the end of that how long it continued to spin despite having no input so it's going to be a pretty efficient VAWT. Anyway, I thought I'd share that prototype maglev VAWT generator with you, made from a child's toy and speaker magnets, because it also hits that stuff I keep banging on about. And this didn't cost more than three pounds, and you can see the desk space I used for it. I've got a meter to tell me, but I could have just tested it with an LED. So it's something you can do on your tabletop. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the experiment, I hope you enjoyed the idea, because I think this is probably worth developing into a maglev VAWT, but there's the prototype for a different kind of generator. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.